Another day, another video. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we're watching Lost. This is the 19th episode of the second season. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying it so far. If you'd like to watch today's full episode, it is available for free in the link in the description below. Just click on it, put the password in, and enjoy. Speak about links in the description. We are now most likely to dislike characters of this season. If you're not yet done it, please do take 30 seconds, pick them, and obviously your results and mine will be shown in the final episode. So I'm really excited to see who you guys choose. Obviously, we've got new characters added this season, so it's going to be really, really interesting to see if any of them have tickled your fancy now the interesting thing is talking about new characters you know we had a real crazy kind of bombshell um last episode with one that's kind of been introduced this season and that is obviously Libby. she's kind of in a relationship with hurley now and the whole last episode was basically hurley and his past story again you know we did have a little bit of the aftermath with Henry. Obviously, it was revealed um, the episode prior to that that he was actually not who he was saying he was. And the person that was buried in the grave underneath the hot air balloon was indeed not his wife. It was actually somebody else called Henry and he had stolen his identity. And as expected, you know, I was predicting that the show wasn't actually going to straight away jump straight into it after the cliffhanger. I thought that it was going to prolong it, and we kind of did. You know, we had a couple of answers here and there. Said just kind of torturing him a little bit, trying to threaten him. He went to shoot him, and Anna Lucille jumped in the way. I thought he was going to play good cop, bad cop, in, if I'm being honest. I thought that was kind of part of the plan, but it wasn't. You know, she sent him on his merry way. Um... You know, so that was interesting as well. And then obviously we had a couple of people talking to him and it revealed some information uh, a little bit more. Nothing too crazy, to be honest. It revealed basically that, you know, there's somebody that's kind of like in charge of all of the others, you know what I mean? And he's pretty scared of them as well. And I kind of picked up on it when Ethan was talking to the bearded guy who didn't have a beard in the episode where Claire was in that facility. They were talking about you would have disappointed him as well. So, you know what I mean? It seems like they've got a ranking like hierarchy system. So that'd be interesting. But if we go back to, obviously, the Hurley episode, you know, everybody was, like, loving all of this new food that was coming to the island, and it was all kind of, like, you know, fighting, who gets what, tries to rationalize it out, and do you know what I mean? And as that's happening, Hurley's kind of seen somebody in, in a, you know, in a... Um Jesse Gowan kind of like walking through the trees and he chased after him. Turns out this person was like his best friend that he had while he was in obviously this ward. Um, obviously prior to being obviously on the island. Now he was going through the whole thing and basically Hula was uh, seeing another person that wasn't actually there. It's kind of like influencing him to kind of not lose weight and you know trying to send him on like a spiral consistently and kind of giving negative like force to him so to speak. And it kind of sent Hula kind of crazy here on the island a little bit as well. Uh, he ended up attacking. Sorry and that after he called him crazy and uh you know send him down like a, a downward spiral and it ne nearly ended up with him killing himself to be honest you know dave was like look you know jump off this cliff you'll feel free do you know what i mean and you'll wake up none of this is real you're not even actually on the island it's all a dream just as he's getting towards the edge and obviously considering doing it libby's turned up you know she's talked him out of it she was saying you know what i mean like this is real how you know what i mean because hurley was saying none of this is real do you know what i mean dave's saying it's not all i need to do is jump off and wake up and she's saying like how dare you say none of this is real was you the one that was there after the plane crash you know dragging people off the island you know burying them um no that was me on that side of the island you had yours i had mine but don't say me that i didn't go for all of this trauma it wasn't real uh, and then she said is this real and went over and kissed him which is interesting it was very good but then the craziness is you know he turned around and said uh do you know what do you remember when i said that i thought i was seeing you before maybe it was just that was making it all up in my head and then she was like, maybe, but you know what? We're here in the now and let's just enjoy ourselves. And they started like walking off. And then we got a crazy, like I said, uh, bombshell at the end of the episode when we went back to the facility and Hurley was inside there in the past, obviously taking his tablets and the camera panned all the way around and Libby was sat there as well, taking hers. So they've both been in the same place. It's so exciting. I can't wait to see more of that story. But thanks for checking out today's episode. If you do enjoy it, please smash a like. It really helps out. Subscribe if you're new, and as always, let's jump into today's episode. Cereal goes on the left, Bernard. So this isn't bothering you at all? What's this? Aren't you remotely curious as to where all this came from? I was raised to question piles of food with weird labels that just fall out of the sky, Rose. My God, Rose, they've built a kitchen on the beach. They've given up. It's tough, that. It's not really giving up, is it? It's adapting to your environment. Looked like a couple of planets that was flying about, though. There was loads of circles. I don't know if it's going to let it run. Hey. You going to get that? You don't look pressured anymore. You used to look dead scared. It's two days now. Nothing to say. I'm tired of waiting. I hear you've lost your appetite. You're never that good at bedside manner anyway. 
I'm gonna change that dressing on your shoulder if you try anything. We've got a problem. I was thinking about something you were saying before we found out who you are. That you'd lead us into a trap. Capture our people. You were soul smug, Ben. Hmm? Why can't we do a trade for Walt and Michael? But now might be a good time to use it. I'm going out to the line that we're not supposed to cross, telling them that we've got you. You might just have been worth all the trouble. I'll never give you Walt. The start though, innit? Get him talking. Why? You know what I mean? Why won't they give us Walt? Get him talking, get him spilling the bit of information. It's good though what Jack's saying there. Do you know what I mean? If he's gonna sit in there and he's not gonna cooperate, why not then? Do you know what I mean? What's the point in actually having him? He's not gonna tell you anything about them. Just use him to the best the best you can. And that is offer a trade back. He was so smug at the time when he was saying that they was gonna go to that location and he could have, you know, set a trap for a trade. Well, you know what? We'll do the trade. You've got some of our people. We've got one of yours. We'll tell them that you're telling us everything and they'll want you back. They'll want to get you to probably punish you or kill you or something. It's not my problem. You know what I mean? You've got my people. We've got yours. We want to do the swap. So it's pretty clever from Jack. Whoa, we're getting a Rose with Bernard backstory. Oh, I'm calling AAA. What, so they can send a tow truck? Trust me. I can do this. That's it. You're doing great. Go, go, go. go. No, I would have gotten it out eventually. Oh, sure. July's right around the corner. Uh, by the way, I'm, I'm Rose. Oh, they're not even together now. Well, they've We're not been married not. long then, have they? Can I buy you a cup of coffee? Oh, uh, coffee would be nice. <laughs> can you get Libby and meet me on the edge of the tree line in five minutes? Oh, and if you can get Jen and Son, Jenkins, and that Frogert guy. Uh, mm. What are you up to? I got an idea. I'm not so sure trading people's their thing. You need it more than I do. Do yourself a favor, man. Don't go out there alone. Here comes Dr. Giggles. I'm going back out into the jungle to talk to our friend with the beard. And you're inviting me along because you want a gun, huh? I'm not inviting you. I'm inviting Kate. Get my things. They got a bit closer the last episode, didn't they? The other one before when the uh, food come down. Have you forgotten that we all crashed on this island? None of you want to go home again. Dude, we like built a raft. But got blown up. That pallet of food had a parachute. So we are going to build a sign. So that way if a plane flies over, that they know we're here. Maybe we should speak to Jack about this first. I mean, he's not the, the president. He's a doctor. You're a dentist. I don't really like this bit here. She's kind of putting him down in front of everyone. Can I speak to you? I want to get back to our life. Well, the only thing you are doing is giving these people false hope. I don't think it's false hope, me, you know. See, right? I like Rose. I do like her. But in this instance, I, I do believe she's wrong. I do. And, you know, the good thing about, you know, opinions is if you're willing to have them open, if that makes sense. So, like, if a character that you like does something that you dislike and you can openly call it out, then that's great. You know, it's the people that like somebody and then everything that their character does, yeah, it's always the best and it's always correct. And, um, you know, they're the ones that's hard to go by. I personally think that Rose is wrong here. You know, she's saying he's giving him false hope, but he's kind of not. He's, he's kind of be Like, to me, he, he's just being objective. You know what I'm saying? Like... I was going to say, like, earlier on in the episode when he was saying, look, mate, everybody on this island, yeah, has kind of forgot that they're here. Nobody's trying to get off. And I said, well, you know, well, I literally just said earlier on in the episode, well, the thing is, they're adapting to the environment. There's no problem with them being here, creating a pantry, do you know what I mean? Creating troughs, you know, building wells and little huts and places to live. And do you know what I mean? What they're doing is they're thinking, okay, what if... We don't get rescued. Let's make the best of the you know the situation, the scenario, and 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 the the skill sets that we have right now. Let's make our living quarter the best it could possibly be until we get rescued. But then also on the other side, what he's trying to say is, that, I mean, I've said it before on this show, is that I don't understand why they haven't created a big sign that says help. You know, it takes one day with everybody together, getting all the stones, all the leaves, all the twigs. You could write help in a big massive letters on the sand and then boom if a plane goes over like he said or a picture gets taken they know that you're there i think that is so simple it's not giving false hope the guy's trying to think objectively the food come down with a parachute that means that that was dropped from somewhere whether it's a plane whether it's the trees already having stuff in there somebody has known that these are on the island somewhere because they pushed that button to drop the food there so it's not being but it's not giving him false hope. He's, he's just looking at the scenario that they've got and then trying to make the best out of it. Just like I've just said about living. He's trying to do the best as well. He's like, well, if people are dropping food and knowing they're here, let's do something just in case he come back. 
just amazing, isn't it? What are you doing? I've been a bachelor for 56 years, and then I met you. Bernard. I know, I know. It's, it's crazy. Um, we just met five months ago. But five months is long enough. Because I knew after five minutes. Will you marry me? I'm sick. And I'm dying. Uh, uh, would you excuse us for a minute? My doctor says I have about a year, maybe a little longer. You haven't answered my question. Are you sure? Oh, I'm sure. Yes. That was good, but how long ago was this? Uh, I got a whole team of folks uh, throwing together a big sign down along the beach. Well, could I like I he's doing a church or something. We could sure use We're using them. For what, <laughs> exactly? Church. I knew it. I knew he was making a church. I think I liked you better when you just hit people with your stick. Reckon the time is going to tip that on again. He might leave it. I need to talk to him. The gun's with Jack. The door stays closed. But if you want to talk to him, talk to him. Henry, can you hear me? Henry, did you answer the numbers? Answer me! Answer me, you hear me? What do, what, what do we honestly reckon there? What, what do we actually reckon? That is, is a proper tough one. I personally think that he pressed the button. I do think he pressed it. But I don't know. I actually don't know. Because the first time he was supposed to press it, that took a little while. Might have been John as well. The thing is, for them neon lights to activate, the shutters had to be down. Now, I don't know how the shutters got down the first time. Do you know what I mean? Like, John pressed it. The first time it was very close to running out and the red buttons did show up but we didn't see what happened in that side of the facility do you know what i'm saying do you know where the shutters was where like it, it was the projections on the walls nobody was there that time so i have no idea how they dropped the walls down like we still haven't actually got an explanation to like what happened to cause that if i'm being honest you know thinking back on it it literally happened so random like why did the walls come down like what happened for that to happen but he said he didn't press the button. I was 50 50. I, I, I think he did. I do think he did. But who knows, mate? Why, why would he be chuffed off that? We're going to put this sign across this entire beach, which means the letters have to be really big. Yes, Hurley. We are going to need a lot more rocks. There's a lava field about a half a mile inland that's just loaded with them. I think he's not so crazy about the whole carry the rocks a half a mile thing. We're lost. Ah, you saying we're lost doesn't make us lost, sweetheart. Bernard, let's get directions. Oh, I don't need directions. I brought you out here because I want you to see this man. You brought me to a faith healer? Once I started telling people about your situation, I got three separate calls recommending him. My situation? Normally... I didn't ask for this! I have made my peace with what's happening to me. Well, I haven't. And it goes back to kind of what he was just saying about the false hope thing. It's a tough one, that one, because her life's technically on the line, isn't it? Come on, we could really use your help. What, you got union trouble down to Sand Factory, Norma Ray? I say... Pasadena. This morning I had 15 people willing to work on the sign. Now I'm down to four. They had to go and attack me. Have you ever stopped to think maybe the reason people are quitting is because you've got yourself a management problem? I am just trying to do something. That's exactly right. You're always trying to do. Why can't you just let things be? What's your opinion on that? Like, because I personally don't think he's done anything wrong this episode. I actually think that Rose has come off. I feel he's picking, like, who's the annoying one in the episode. I would say Rose so far. I grabbed you, had you at gunpoint. They could have kept you, but they didn't. Then again, they didn't really want me either. <laughs> <laughs> she fell for it again. To be honest, I, I, I would have probably picked it up or so. What are you doing? I'm trying to get the gun. I can't get my arm around. Uh, uh, Thought it would have carried a knife as well, to be fair. I have a better angle than I... Anyway. Oh, that's going to be your excuse when I make the shot. That was a good shot. That was a good shot, actually. No! Three so they can see it from the air! Do I just have to do everything myself? You can start with one and then thicken it out. You know, I, I like Jin's haircut, me actually. I do like it. Slick back. You're in my spot. I guess your sense of humor got trapped under that door with your leg. So what are you doing down here, John? Can't remember the last time I saw you out of that hatch. I'm done with the hatch. You'll be out of that splint and running around the island again in no time. And yet Jack said it'd be at least 
four weeks. But honey, <laughs> you and I both know it's not going to take that long. Right this way, Ray. I sit here and you chant, or, um... There are certain places with great energy, spots on the earth, like the one we're above now. And when possible, I harness this energy and give it to others. Can't do anything for you, Rice. I didn't expect you to. It's not that you can't be healed. There's different energies. I'll return your husband's donation. Don't. I'm gonna tell him you fixed me. See, I don't know if that's the right thing to do either, man. Like, I'm conflicted with that. You said they were sophisticated, the others. Claire and I went into the jungle and uh, found another hat. There's nothing you can use. It was all cleared out. But I found some lockers. They had clothes inside. A horn and a fake beard. We're here. Surely one don't just chill there all the time. That's your man! You want him back? You're gonna have to come out here! Hmm, I do feel like someone's coming out. Where is everybody? I owe you an apology. Back in Australia, Isaac, he didn't heal me. He didn't heal me. But that doesn't mean I'm not healed. When you're sick and you have got something inside you that doesn't belong there, you can feel it. And after the crash, I couldn't feel it anymore. You. How do you know that he didn't heal you? Well, technically, the island's healed Locke as well, if you think about it, which is interesting. Oh, well, there is Locke. Yeah, it's healed both of them so Trust. far, apparently. I know. That was kind of that conversation that they had when he was sat down a minute ago. You don't want to be rescued, do you? We won't ever leave us. <laughs> I would offer to take down the sign, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> This, uh, do you know what? I like both of these two. I pressed your button. Where'd you go? I just needed to stretch my legs. He's gonna get somewhere with his drawing now, and uh, he's gonna get further than he did before. That's looking a bit like it, to be fair. There was a couple of branches off it. This dog just gets in and out, mate, literally. How long are you gonna wait, Jack? I get my voice back. I'm sorry I kissed you. I'm not. Mm, time in mate. It's Michael. <laughs> it's obvious, isn't it, mate? It's just obvious. I knew that it'd be Michael. Everybody to come running out of the jungle, it's Michael. And has he been drugged or has he been sent? You know what I mean? No, has he ran away? Who knows, mate? Literally, who knows? I knew it'd be Michael, though. That is not even a shock to me. I knew it would be, honestly. Now, the interesting thing is, yeah. Well, first of all, Kate just said, um, you know, she's sorry for kissing Jack and he said, I'm not. You know what I mean? I'm not sorry. And like, he's going to go in for a kiss again before, obviously, Michael's interrupted. Now, it's interesting that Michael is here with a torch running through the jungle. Clearly, he's either escaped or they've let him go and it's part of the plan and they are watching. And do you know what I mean? You know, what's basically Jack was going to try and use obviously Henry as a trade for Walt and Michael. Well, he specifically said Walt, never really said Michael. But now they sent Michael back, Henry's like, you'll never get Walt. You know what I mean? Maybe these guys absolutely love these kids. You know what I mean? They are the next generation for them. And no matter what happens, they're willing to give up their current elder people, if that makes sense, to keep the kids. And you know, they would take a couple of, ma you know what I mean, like 10, 10 adults dead to save seven children, for example, because, like I said, they're the next generation of them. Obviously, this story today was all about Roseman Bernard, and the interesting thing is, you know, from my personal point of view, you know, it was kind of like, most of the episode was kind of like, who's correct? Like, whose who's fence do you fall on? Do you fall on Bernard's, what he's trying to do, or do you fall on Rose's? Now, me personally, all the episodes, I thought Bernard didn't do anything wrong. Bernard wasn't giving false hope. Bernard wasn't doing, you know, bad things. He was just trying to be logical. He was trying to put a sign up. Let's get around the island. Let's get a sign. Like, once Rose revealed that she believes that this is the island that's cured her, it made sense to me. She wasn't being nasty to him this episode. That's not the correct word, but she was being kind of, like, put down her, not listening, you know, like, unpleasant. Like, I can't really, like, explain it. Hopefully, you understand where I'm trying to come from with it. Like, when he was speaking to everybody, she kind of, like, put him down. Like, yeah, yeah, but you're only a doctor. I mean, you're only a dentist. And, you know, what do you know, kind of, like, what she was saying. And, um, 
it makes sense now. Do you know what I mean? If she just blatantly explained to him like she did at the end, it would have worked out like... That's why in relationships, communication's key. You know what I mean? He wants to get off this island to save her, but she doesn't want to get off. And once that was, like, relayed to him and he understood why, you know, he stopped his pressure, pressure, pressure of trying to get saved because he likes his wife too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, you do... It, 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 that's just all what it is. So, this episode, you know, I do feel like... Um, Rose was kind of a little bit negative towards him. But if you follow it and everything that was kind of being said, you would kind of like understand why it happened. But also, some interesting things was kind of dropped as well. So they went to see that guy in Australia and obviously it didn't work. And that's the reason why Dave was there. Now, she wanted to, um, you know, pretend to him that he did because she didn't want him to fight and keep pushing. Now, the thing is, I don't think that's negative. You know, like, if I had a family member that, I don't know what her condition was, but just say it was cancer. Like, I would fight until their last dying day. Like, it doesn't matter if they gave up, I wouldn't give up. And I understand it's respecting somebody's wishes. But I'd be fighting and doing everything. I'd be fundraising. I'd be, you know, act, you know, like, you know what I mean? I'd be campaigning, going to activism groups, all of this stuff to try and help find a cure or something that could help that person. And that's kind of what Open Arts was kind of doing this episode, well, in the, in the backstory. And obviously, she's kind of like lie because she wanted to just get on with her life, so to speak, which is her choice. But she's come to the island after speaking to Isaac, who said, look, right here in this place, he went to grab her, so to speak. He said, it didn't work here. I'm not saying that you can't be cured, but just saying that right here where we are, you know, this isn't the place for you. There's multiple hot spots, he kind of said, that was like around the earth with like a magnetic draw. And like, this one doesn't work, but I don't know which other one would work, but basically he said it would. And now, obviously, she's on this island and she's referenced the lock scenario. You know, when he was sat down and he was saying about his leg and she's saying, nah, you'll be up on your feet sooner in terms of... And I was thinking, what's going on there? Because he was kind of like both just staring and lingering in at each other. And I was thinking, what? Like, why is that significant? And then again, we went back to the airport and they're dropping the tablets and him picking them up. She obviously remembers that he was in the wheelchair and now she can see him getting up and running and, do you know what I mean, being so active on his feet, she's thinking the island's cured him. I had this thing in this condition inside of me and I could feel it and it was impacting my daily life and I would crash landed here and at first I thought it was you know the panic and you know like the adrenaline but then it's gone and the island's done that to me and there's no way that I want to leave that you know life's worth living that's what it is you get one life let's make the best of it if I have to stay in this island to live the rest of my life I'm going to be staying on this island do you know what I mean um and it was interesting obviously that we used that and like I said, once he realised it, he wanted to stay with her. The thing that shocked me is that they've only been together for like one year or two years. And I definitely thought it was like way longer. I don't know if I just assumed it or just misread it, but I thought it was together for so, so long. But it was kind of like on the honeymoon here when he was on the island. And then he, he said that he was only together for five months when he, he you know proposed to her. So their relationship is well short, but you know, it was interesting and I'm happy that we got one of their episodes. Me never expected it, but I'm really happy for it. Now it's going to wrap up the 19th episode of the second season of Lost. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying it so far. If you've not yet, vote for your most liked to dislike characters of this season. The links are in the description. Take 30 seconds. Do you vote? Mine will be shown in the final episode as well as yours. Can't wait to see who everybody chooses. Now, I'm happy that Michael is back. I really am. He's been absent pretty much all season. I enjoyed him last season. I actually enjoyed him and Walt and the progression of their character storylines, to be honest. I wouldn't say I'm a big fan of Walt, but I don't dislike him. But what I am a big fan of is seeing him build the relationship with his son and you know something that he's not had all of his life and he wanted to as you could see in the flashbacks when you know you go to them episodes you can see that i'm always stressed out when she's trying to take him away from wall and he's always wanted to try to fight for him you know he always wanted to be in his life and he's finally got that and he gave him the letters and last season we progressed through what wasn't a big fan of him so to speak on the island at first and then michael's kind of putting himself on the line and his life and you know fighting the polar bear and they've just progressed forward and the relationship building the raft and together and trying to fight for him you know what i mean i feel like Walt being here with Michael just makes them two really good and I like their story and I've missed it. I actually have missed it. And, uh, you know, it's good to see that Michael is hopefully back now. Um, and I would like to see what he's acquired, the information. He seems like a knowledgeable guy. He knew about the blast doors. You know, if he comes back, maybe he can talk to Locke and he can help him bring them down, get the information. He's trying to scribble it, isn't there? You know what I mean? So that's good that he's back. I do feel like they've sent him in, though. They are watching. They're always in the trees. Um, another thing that I thought was interesting is, obviously, like I said, Locke was trying to draw these symbols. Nobody really knows that why he's drawing them, but also... 
you know he's kind of kind of given up on the hatch now you know he was shouting through the door to henry like did he press it did he not and he was loving it mate he was well chuffed he was smiling we don't know if he did we don't know if he didn't it's a guessing game right now i'm thinking that he did press it but i just feel like he's trying to he's been here before you know they've been in a hatch um themselves in that facility they're probably in another one you know they've been to they've probably been to the one that annie lucille and her crew uh you know when when they first crash landed on the island so it wouldn't surprise me if they know everything that's kind of going on anyway and they just playing games with them now again another interesting thing is that obviously like i said it seems like he actually has given up on it because this is the first time him knowingly not being in the hatch when the code is supposed to be entered do you know what i mean like usually he's, he's lingering around he's panicking he's scared i could see it in his face that he kind of gave up on it so on the island he was just chilling and lucy said she pressed the code instead and he never asked her to either he was kind of thinking if no one's there so be it now again you know going back to him riding on his um you know his wheelchair past rolls in the airport it doesn't have the mark on his face obviously we've seen him get that little scarf from being on the island but that's some hardcore commitment giving him that when it it's it's not needed if that makes sense you're literally giving that in episode one and you have to put that bit of makeup on him for every single episode now and it's not as if like it's needed but that's just proper commitment to give it him uh just that was just something that I picked up on and again I knew that Mr. Echo was going to be building a church or a cross. I could just feel it. Now, me, I'm not no religious person. I'm not against religion. I'm not for religion. I'm just a straight line, you know. Do whatever makes you happy, in my personal opinion. But I also do acknowledge that there's so many different, like, faiths that are knocking around here. And, like, you know, basically, what he's doing, building a church, is not the same place that Saeed would worship and his culture. So I'm hoping that we don't push religion a lot. Like I said, I'm not for it. I'm not against it. But I just, like, let everybody be. Whoever wants to go there, sweet. You know what I mean? If that's going to be a safe place that gives you peace on the island, I'm all for it. But I just hope we don't push religious sides of it. That's just my opinion on it. But I like how it's being practical. I like how we're tying it into him uh, improving his life and his brother. Do you know what I mean? In the backstory, basically, you know, his brother found it and he, he was having a great life. He'd become a priest. He worshipped God. It made him a better person. And I do believe that faith is all about being a better person. And, um, you know what I mean? He went down the wrong path. He was lucky that he didn't get arrested and then he become a priest himself. And now, obviously, he can pass it on and improve everybody's life here on the island and people who are being upset. And, you know what I mean? And need uh, somebody to talk to and a, a bit of wisdom, then this would be great. It would be. So I'm interested to see how we go with it. And again, we're not seeing anything more about the Libby and Hurley storyline, but that's another one that's in there that we could obviously dissect further down the line. So it's exciting stuff, mate. There's loads of stuff going on now. Before, I was thinking the season was a bit dry and a little bit slow, obviously maybe around 10, 11 episodes in. And then ever since then, we've just kind of shot and picked up and there's loads of stuff going on now. So I'm loving it. So thanks for checking out today's episode. If you did enjoy it, please smash a like. It really helps out. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.